Hey what are guys, I'm here today with a brand new video. Today we're going to be making our first instructional DCS video. So today is going to be a very clarified short video. So as you all know the Grim Reapers are one of the most popular um, known uh, in uh, YouTubers about DCS who just uh, explain easy, uh, normal and basic things to do with different aircrafts in DCS. So some of them are might be not correct or not compatible to you, to your same stuff like transferring files. Doing stuff in DCS might might not work out with you. So today I'm gonna be showing you the shortcut. Like he's correct. I'm not saying that Grim Reapers is not correct. I'm saying that I'm gonna make it short and fast. So today gonna we're gonna be making the AGM 65 Hotel class um, air to ground missile. So I, as you all start our mission. So here we are, um, we're on the runway with 3 HM65 Hotel, so as in the other wing also. So let's get into it. So let's start preparing our pot teapot. So we have t a teapot right here, it's not on yet, but let's, let's turn on our air to ground main mode. Then let's go to, pa let's power it on, let me just go there a second, for a second let's just go there. So power on. Uh, this is gonna we're gonna be using the this mode today. So power on. Uh, then we're gonna go to control. Auto power on. North off. Stay point two doesn't make a really big difference. We're gonna go to the left panel. We're gonna go to weapon. Weapon. Okay. So then we're gonna uh, go our take our master arm to simulate. So we do not, uh, so we do not uh, fire a missile without, with a mistake or without our intentions. So we're on the runway, we're ready. So left side clear, right side clear. Let's go. Three, two. So Egyptian F-16 taking off from three, two, one, and throt breaks hold, throttle up. Not yet. Okay, I'm reached. Releasing, and we're rolling. Airspeed is alive. 80 knots. How do you not start pulling up on the ten, on the stick and and here we have a positive rate of climb and we have our gears up right now. Beautiful departure. Now let's turn off our master arm. T pod's gonna take like uh, T pod's gonna take from three to ten minutes to open up. So let's. So currently we have two targets to Israeli uh, tanks. We're gonna take them out. We're gonna destroy them. So it's gonna tell you no, not sorry, and then not timed out. Uh, that's very normal. Uh, just make sure that everything's okay. Then you're gonna go here. You're gonna go a teapot on, and then this is where everything starts working. In a matter of minutes, it's gonna start up a matter of seconds. So, we are okay yet. We're good. We are flying a little bit low, so let's take our, s our altitude a little bit up and let's fly towards the targets. Let's just make a small tour at Dubai. You can see the Khalifa Tower. And other buildings. So we took about the Al had Air Force Base, and um, we're heading east to MBT Tango 55. This is what we're sh we should we should be heading to uh, currently. Beautiful. So here is the Khalifa Tower. And other buildings, you have a small roof right here. Okay, and the teapot's now automatically on. So, um, first thing we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to uh, indicate where your cross will be. So, as you can see, when I pitch down, it uh, automatically, you can see on the HUD that there are two indicators, or you can see it as one, but there are two. Um, and you can see that it is actually on uh, a building or on a on a ground, but it's not stable. It's not locked down. So let me let me show you how to do this. 
Uh, first I'm gonna head, out, head towards Target. There is Dubai International. Yep, I'm okay, right, Dubai International. And the blow of the aircraft. Okay, so um, target should be 12 o'clock right now, but it's still having a lot of time. So as y'all can see, the RDR cruiser, you can see all of the key points, you can uh, modify it as you want, but I'm just going to be using my keyboard instead of joystick at some point. Um, you can see that when I take the RDR cruiser, which is that when I take the cross or the teapot down uh, or up, you can see everything. So if you want to memorize, memorize, you can do whatever you want, but make sure that you have the teapot and everything is correct. So I have just made a life pause. Now let me take it to the right. And I can see that you can just literally notice that there are two black dots, which are the targets, the two tanks. So I'm gonna press Control Up, which is CMS Up, again, and then when it gives a small shake or the the, the cross is logged on already, then this is when it is already uh, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna press Weapon Release button, which is Left Alt and Space or uh, my joystick. You can just do it, but it is the weapon release button where you can release the bombs. So, weapon release, weapon release, weapon release, find the hole. As, as you can see right now, the AGM-65 hotel just been launched. And it, it has tracked, uh, and it's going for the course that I indicated. And, splash! Now I have a target destroyed, I have one tank destroyed. The second one, I'm gonna show you right now. So let's do this again, but right now we want to reset the view, so right control down or TMS down. So we're going to go right there. And I'm going to get a lock on, so TMS up or right control up again. And you can see we got a beautiful lock on and weapon release, weapon release, weapon release, fire in the hole. Why am I saying this? Okay. So as you can see, the AGM-65 hotel has been currently logged on and heading on to the correct course. And three, two, one, and beautiful. Now we just destroyed another T5, another T55 tank. So this is the target. So let's now try without the life pause. So let's try again. Okay. So after uh, a while. Okay. So right now we are far and good to go. So. We can see the tank right here is if you can notice right here. So and TMS up and again and three two one missile out, missile out, okay, beautiful. Okay, let's hope this one hits. Yep, it's gonna hit. Direct hit. Uh, beautiful. So yeah, this is how to use air to ground. Uh. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. So um uh, I know there might be some mistakes, I'm not sure of what I have done, but what I have done is should be correct. The next video is going to be about how to add liveries to aircrafts in DCS. So, uh, I'm not I'm not challenging Grim Reapers, I'm not, comparing my, I'm not comparing myself to Grim Reapers, I'm just trying to shorten or make it more simple, uh, because Grim Reapers might have a really a small, a, a little hard time to be, to understand this these things, I'm not talking with a bad way i'm talking normally um the next video as i said is going to be about adding livers to an aircraft so yeah like and subscribe guys turn on post the notification button for more videos and uh, see you guys later and peace goodbye